Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time, I know. A couple of weeks ago I made this bag, which I absolutely love, and I've just been using it every day, and I want to make another one, so I thought this time I would film it. It's just made out of some um, old denim, old jeans, and um, yeah, I'm going to make another one, and I'm going to film it this time. As you can see, the handles are denim and leather. Um, that's one side, and on the other side, I did a leather J for Jennifer. Um, inside is a denim and just some cotton material. And I also put a pocket. denim that interests me some lighter colors some black mid sort of color and some dark colors also some some bits that I have got left over from other projects so now I just have to decide how I'm going to arrange them. Right, so for this one, I've got the back pocket here. Um, this is just one piece here, and then three different three different pieces there. And on this side, I've got two types there. The other back pocket of the same pair of jeans, and then two different types there and if I'd arranged it properly I wouldn't have had the same type touching because obviously you do one side then the other side and then when I put it together I didn't realize that it would be the same time I mean it looks okay so it's no big deal um, so yeah once you've picked out um, the denim that you want you're just going to make um, like a rectangle it depends on the size you want your bag to be Okay, so we're going to make the handles next. Right, so the handle measures um, 25 by 3 inches. 
um, but I mean you can do your handle as long as you like what I did is um, I'll show you in a bit and for the leather I just used um, an old leather jacket so I'll show you how I did the handle Right, so we've got our front and back panels done and we've got our handles done. So next I'm going to be doing the lining. I'm going to use the same fabric that I used for the other bag and I'm going to use some of this denim. Alright, so I'm just going to measure one of the panels. It measures about 24 and I think it will come down maybe 5 inches. So for the, for the denim part it's going to be 24 by 5 inches and for the fabric It's going to be 24 by 14 inches. This is all sewn and I've sewn a label on as well. The next thing I'm going to do is do an internal pocket. <clears throat> so I've got this piece of denim. Um, so what I'm going to do is just sew along there so that stays down and sew along there. And then I might cut it down a bit and then just sew it in. Okay, so I've sewn in the pocket. So I've made the pockets big enough for my phone and my tablet. Perfect. Right, so now I'm going to sew the lining together. So It'll be right sides together. I'm going to sew down the sides and leave 
leave a space at the bottom for turning. So that's that and on the bag I'm going to sew the handles on. On the other bag they're quite far apart and what happens is you get you can see that it sort of bows a bit so I'm going to put them closer together maybe like that it's up to you where you place them you might want to measure them so I'm going to sew the handles on and I'm going to sew the lining together okay so we've got the handles on both parts front and back of the bag and we have got the, the lining sewn together, right sides together. So the next step is to put the front and back right sides together and just sew round. Okay, so all finished. Now all we have to do is leave this inside out put this right side out and then put this inside of this up the side seams. Like so. Put a pin in there. And make sure the handles are inside. And then it's up to you if you want to pin it all the way round. But I would match up the side seams first. And then pin the rest. And make sure you have left a space at the bottom of the lining for turning. And then all you have to do is just sew all the way round the top. And it's up to you if you top stitch. And then when you finish, just turn it and you're done. Alright so I've sewn all around the top and now through the hole in the bottom you can turn it the right way round and then all you have to do is just sew up the hole in the bottom the lining inside your bag. And then it's up to you if you want to do a stitch around the top of the bag just to keep it, um, just to stop the lining from popping up. On my other bag I didn't do the top stitch because I sewed the straps too close to the edge but this one I might do a top stitch but not right now but yep yeah, and that's your bag it's quite cute it's very big mm, I'll take some pictures and um, show you the end results just needs a good press top stitch lining sewn up and that's it that's your bag done it's nice and big so that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll put some pictures at the end. Bye for now.